Join us for another ship spotting adventure. We'll see the crew cleaning the windows. And we'll also see the crew risking their lives. Let's take a closer look. First of all, I wonder if you can guess what ship it is. This ship is a general cargo carrying ship. She was built in Germany and she flies the flag of the Netherlands. She currently sails as part of the Wagenborg fleet. Very similar to a vessel that we featured previously on the channel. You got any ideas? It is in fact, Mazborg. Let's go check it out. So she measures in at around about 110 meters just over. She's got a beam of 14 meters and she was built back in 2005. Flicking through the manufacturer's specification here, it reckons she's around about 6,000 tons, which is listed widely across the internet. However, Royal Wagen Board's website themselves lists around about 6,400 tons, so there's a chance she might have had a little bit of work done. 400 tons is quite a difficult amount to smuggle on board without us noticing, so my guess would be she's going to be somewhere between about 6,000 and 6,400 tons. She proudly flies the flag of the Netherlands, and she has her home port of Delft Zaal. Assuming I've pronounced that correctly. Quite a hard one to pronounce, that one. So as I mentioned earlier, she was built in Germany. She was built by the company Ferris Schmidt Lear, which is situated in Lear in Germany. She has a Mack engine that kicks out 2,640 kilowatts in power. She also has got bow thrusters on this one. Similar to last week, actually. Uh, exactly the same fitting. They're around about 300 kilowatts as well. This isn't the first time that we featured Mazborg on the channel. She was with us about, about three months ago, I suppose. Three months ago, she was not in as good a condition as she is now. She was getting a little bit rusty. She was starting to show a little bit, a few dings and marks and dents. There was one prominent feature as well. She had a whacking great big dent in the front, which I have no idea how she got it. I have no idea where it came from. I'm sure somebody out there will know the answer to it. However, we've actually noticed, and we've been noticing on this footage, that they've actually fillered it, and uh, they've been getting ready to paint it. Here we see one of the crew members getting ready to climb over the side. He's just putting his harness on, which is a wise decision given where we are, but we'll talk about that in a minute. This job really isn't for the faint-hearted. So just a few final checks and uh, strapping on. We can see they've got their ladder out. They've got a nice bit of, bit of rope boarding, their scaffolding boarding out there. So um, he's gonna climb down the side with the help of his mate. Now, I know he's wearing a harness, and I know that the chance of him falling is relatively slim given the fact that he's wearing a harness. However, if he does fall in, the chance of him swimming is going to be relatively slim. And I don't know if you're familiar with ship design, but generally they're not fitted with ladders, this one included, anywhere that's even remotely convenient. We're currently three kilometers out to sea. Fears the guys are applying a layer of undercoat as we thought. Well, I'm ready for a top coat, which will come afterwards, however. They'll probably do that once it's dried and once I've done a couple of layers on here. Now, you'd be surprised at how many dents and dings and scrapes these ships have. They've been out in the ocean for a long time, this one being out since 2005 when she was built. The amount of bumps, the amount of filler, the amount of bits and bobs here and there on there are pretty unreal. However, they keep going on strong. One of the favourite bits and the bits that we really enjoy about doing this is when the crew get involved. It's a good old way from the crew, it's, it's any interaction that we get now. This guy spotted us and he gives us an amazing wave. So uh, if you're out there mate, thank you very much. Now quite often we get bemused faces as they see our little tiny boat pull up and uh, they probably think we're pirates pulling up. However, we're just a bit inquisitive really. We come out and we have a good look around when we can and uh, just take in the ship really and share it with you guys. Generally, we like to have a cheeky look in the bridge just to see what we can see, see if we can see anything interesting going on. En route, we happen to notice this crew member cleaning the windows. Now, there's a lot of salt spray out here. I don't know if you live near the sea or you've ever witnessed it. It actually makes your windows more smeary all the time, so it's probably a, a daily task or a thought, especially when the wind's been ripping through. If you look closely through the window, you can see what presumably is the captain. Now, he looks a little bit bemused with our presence and uh, he looks at his mate and gives a bit of a shrug shoulder because he probably didn't see us pull up. <laughs> Don't worry mate, we're just as confused as you are. If you like ships, please consider subscribing to us. Anyway, moving on. As we mentioned, she's part of the Wagenborg fleet. Now, Wagenborg have got around about 170 ships, give or take. Obviously the number's always going up and down. 
Um, they employ around about 3,000 people, and they claim to have an annual tonnage of which they carry of around about 31 million tons, approximately. Um, their fleet makes approximately 8,000 port calls a year, so as far as shipping company goes, they're definitely one of the big boys. They've been around now for around about 130 years, which has some heritage. So I keep referring to them as Wagenborg, however their real name is Royal Wagenborg. I'm unsure where the royal bit came from, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more research about that. If you know the answer, let us know below. Also, if you've got any stories about this vessel, if you know anything, if you've got anything that we may well find fascinating, we'd love to hear because we love reading it, we love learning about bits and bobs. We're uh, no experts by all means, we just learn as we go along. We've actually featured a very similar ship to this one before on the channel last week, ironically, which was Newsborg. If you like this one, then you'll definitely like that one. The link for that one is on screen now or in the description below. Don't forget to drop us a like if you enjoyed this. Bye-bye for now.